Now we can do more logs, which we are going to definitely need. And tomorrow, we're going to have to just doubly double the time, guys. We've been farting around, we've been going to war, and we don't need to do that anymore. At least for the for the moment, we will have to go back to war, guys, eventually. I wonder if the guys, if the native dudes regen, or do I just like, if I can kill them off and like purify the island, guys. I wonder if that's a purify the island. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Do I hear a little bitch? I think I do. I think I do. So we need quite a bit more. We're gonna need a lot of trees worth of shit, guys. So, guys, do you think that they're eventually gonna find my camp? My little, my little dock over there? Because I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, they actually won't. And that I could actually have just built the thing over there the whole time. Without actually having to do this island thing. But this island thing, I think, provides a protection. An extra protection. Because I really don't think they can swim. I don't think they can. I have not seen a native yet go on that beach. And I'm thinking the reason for that is, is that they don't swim. I don't think that's a thing they've added into this game. Alright guys, I went ahead and I did a little bit of a modification here. I'm going to put a door here, because this is going to allow access to the next set of stuff over there. I'm eventually going to build like a wall, like an enclosure to the pier thing, but that's going to be a later project. I went ahead and I made it a little bit smaller, because now just thinking about it, it is just me, so I'm thinking that, uh, you know, I don't really need that big of a space, not nearly that big. Because I'm just going to put a house, I'm going to put a pretty good gazebo in here and shit, and, and why, this this saves me a few, uh, a few trips you know, collecting wood and stuff by doing this. It just speeds up the project. I'm thinking that, uh, we need to speed this up a little bit more. So, we don't need to go big with this. Not with just one person. Put it in dude right there. There we go. We got those three dudes. Got those three dudes. Alright. So let's go ahead and get this dude back. <laughs> Definitely don't want to get in the water now that I saw that gigantic ass. That guy, that gigantic ass, guys. He was in there, he's been a big asshole. See him, guys. Get the fuck out. Get out, get out, cop. Get out of here. Okay. That ups the ante. Just a little bit. Holy shit. <coughs> Alright, so. They were out there, guys. They were out there. Alright, you know. Once I start talking, I, oh, I've never seen him near the water, and then of course that's when they freaking get near the damn motherfucking water. Is the shore coming in closer too? Oh, we're really, we're really against the clock now, aren't we guys? Alright, we really gotta get this thing built then. If that's the case, and they really are really around here, we need to, we need to really get out of here. I wanted to make these explosives. Thinking that those will help. If I'm ever in a bind, that will uh, that will do nicely. I'm thinking we should probably build a bonfire here just to just to reassert dominance. You know, that's all about being men, guys, is being able to show as much dominance as possible. So we're gonna build some dominance. 
think some people have asked me, am I going to do the effigy thing? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I does that really have any effect over my island? I think building the island is going to be a way better than just building some fucking effigies. And they're freaking crazy as hell. They'll probably just think the effigies look funny. They themselves have effigies. You know. You think the effigies will really have an effect on them? I don't really think so. Probably gonna get 50 comments. Oh, they'll work, they'll work. Alright. If you say so. So this is where they went running. Uh, I'm doing the very bright idea of running around in here. But we'll fight them. We'll fight them if they come. I'm a man. I can do it. I can handle this shit. And we're back. Chop. Bin, chop, bin, chop, bin. Don't run out of energy. Lizard bro, you almost got a tree dropped on you. Yep. There, rocks. Stop. Timber. Mm, didn't go flying today, huh? Good job. Can I fit these last two on there? Uh, of course I can. Even though, if you look at it, you put two more on there and make a triangle pyramid thing like the Illuminati. So, I don't know. Let's put this into this so we can assert dominance. Hey, birdie! Birdie's being a fucking retard right now. Damn, dude. Choose what way you want to go. Sorry, guys. I just need to drink water. Bunny! Bunny, guys. Oh, good coffee. Good coffee, guys. Nothing better than a good little cup of coffee, guys. There we go. There we go. Alright. Back to doing... Bringing around. When is the rain coming? I will wait all day for I will wait I will wait for the rain. Is it just me or even the trees starting to look more yellow? Like are we going through like some drought or some shit? Is that even a thing in this game? Are droughts a possibility? I don't know. I don't know if the game could be that intelligent. Kyle probably can. We have fucking VR nowadays, man, you think. You know, we got this new VR guys. And we are going to be making VR videos, all right? That that's a thing. It's coming out. Just give us some time, all right? Jesus Christ. And um, we moved around a lot with technology lately, guys. You know, we've advanced a lot. You know, and I grew up playing the fucking in Super Nintendo, guys. The Nintendo 64. I, you know, the fun times I even remember having a kid was playing 007 GoldenEye on multiplayer. Like, that was freaking fun. Yeah, you, know, you had the cheats with this thing called the Game Shark, which is this thing you plugged into your controller. It was a big fatty thing, so you can do some like cheats and shit. Those were the days, guys. And um, playing on the really fatty controllers of the N64 and Super Nintendo, and here we are putting little computers on our head and seeing things as they, you know, pretty wonder of technology. And you know. That's pretty cool, guys. This dude. He really wants to... Did that kill you, bro? It must have. I guess fall trees falling does give you damage. This dude got freaking owned. Hi, birdies. Can't kill him, guys. There's no point. I don't have any uh, room in my bag, apparently, for bird meat anymore. Got a little bit more time left to fill this up and bring in more logs. More turtles! I need another turtle shell. And more logs! Oh, wait, Kyle. Drop off your twigs. You keep forgetting that, man. So, guys, I want you to leave in the comments below. What do you think the, the name of the fort Actually, what should the name of the island be? And the name of the fort. Two names, guys. And they only come up with one name, that's fine. Say so name the island this and name the fort this. I, I think we should have the name of a fort and the name of an island. 
What should they be? Some of you may be wondering, Con, why are you crashing the trees right on top of your cart? The reason I want them as close to the cart as possible so I don't have to run as far back and forth. So I want them to be close as possible. This is just called strategy, guys. And I remember I was in the last episode, I was mentioning, me mentioning, yes, mentioning strategy. And I didn't finish. Strategy is a very unique word. It basically means using your gaming ability to its max maximum extent in the form of strategics in games, right? You know, the ability to know, you know, how far the AI's field of vision is so you know how to get around them. You know, that's, that's strategic. I'm not making this up. You know, many of you are like, how? Oh, I, I don't think, you know, talking about Wi-Fi trees and talking about, you know, you know, voice tronics. I'm, I'm starting to think of full shit half the time. I'm not, guys. I'm not. Don't worry, you know, you can trust Kyle for all your up-to-date information. Papa Pride has got you, got you, got you covered. Got you covered with good old-fashioned information. It's not bullshit, believe me. Wi-Fi trees exist. You just need to, you just need to trust me. Believe, believe in me and I will believe in you. Does this, does this make sense? I think it does. Ash James, that makes sense all the time. My, my axe is so fucked up. It's got so much blood around it. Half of it is turtle blood. <laughs> More than I would say the natives. I wonder if you can get that cleaned off. I wonder if you can jump in the water that'll clean off. If you could do that, that'd be pretty good. Eh. Kyle. Get the pot. Get the pot, man. Fill up the water. Let's get some good old water in here. How do you do that? Guys, how do you fill up your pot? How do you fill it up, guys? Oh, God. I'm, like, left-clicking, right-clicking, pressing E. No. Isn't there, like, a bag? Like, a water bag or something? Berry pouch, water skin. Two deer skins with rope. Gotcha. God, you're supposed to be freaking... Getting, you know, twigs and wood and shit, and you get so distracted, man. I'm thinking we should probably get this water thing thing, though. Rather than waiting for me to run out of water and then try to solve the problem, it's better to just solve the issue now. Let's go ahead and see if we can hunt down any deers. Now that I'm looking for some, I will not find it. Does it make sense, guys? Yeah, I see a deer. I see a freaking asshole. There he is. He's running around. He's having a good time. What the fuck are you doing, child? Yeah, I know you see me. I know you do. I know you do. Good job. Just run into my arrow. That's a defensive noise, guys. Shut up. I did not. I just heard panting. And I was like, okay, where is he? And then I turned around and he was right there. I know half of you are going to be like, hey, 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 you're such a little bitch. Okay, you know what? The, what I used, right? What is this? What that noise was, guys, that I made James replay the noise. <laughs> that was a successful strategic noise that I made. <laughs> so you know how octopus and squid, they use, like, ink, and then they fly away, you know, not swim away? Kyle, you fucking idiot. Well, what that is in Voicetronics is we call it, we call it the flying squid maneuver. And this is, you, you make this noise to use to retreat. You make such an obnoxious noise that it pauses the enemy to think 
about what the noise could be, and while they are thinking about it, you're making a successful getaway. And that's... that's what that is. Oh my god, man, you're so fucked up. Alright, we gotta show fire for dominance. We have to show them that we are technologically advanced. Remember the peaceful days when the knaves weren't running around being a bunch of assholes? I miss, I miss that day that we had. It's pretty good. Now it's shit. So the natives are now running around here at night, which is good. So that basically means we need to get the heck off. I, it still hasn't rained yet. Um, I believe there is a deer up on that hill up there, which we will hunt for in the morning. And I'm thinking we can use that deer skin if we're going to collect water out of it. We'll, we'll dip it in water. I don't know why you can't just dip a pot. I mean, that makes just as much sense. But we got to play as the, with the game's rules, you know. But that will have to be a next episode. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. Like and comment if you did. Guys, for today's shout-out, I want to say hello to all the prideful nerds in Mexico. Hope you guys are having a great day out there. And... Guys, remember to like and share this video. Please share this video around. I know a lot of you guys have started to do that. I know there's like a share squad thing going on. So, um, awesome for setting that up. That's great. Um, you guys, like I said, share this on Skype and Steam with your friends that you know. Um, retweeting on Twitter is good. But, you know, if, if you, you if you can direct message a friend something, that would be even more awesome. Um, because a lot, a lot of people click on the retweets. I think we've had like two or three people that actually clicked on a retweet because I can actually see that in the YouTube analytics. Um, but it's better if you just direct share that. That's actually more appreciated. And then you and your friends can watch and go, how lame is this guy together? Doesn't that sound fun? Anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next episode that I make, which is going to be Bioshock. See ya.